Speaker Alban Bagben has stressed the need for members of the House to prioritize their health by undergoing regular medical checks. Now, this follows the death of the Member of Parliament for Kumewu, Philip Baswa. The Speaker of the House, Members of Parliament and the NPP have been eulogizing the late MP. There is more in this report. The passing of MP for Kumewu, Philip Baswa, was confirmed in the early hours of Tuesday. This follows a short illness that got him hospitalized on Friday. The NPP constituency chairman, Fokmeu, has been explaining events leading to the death of the member of parliament. Unfortunately, last Friday, that's, our MP got sick, and we all prayed that he would get better. In four o'clock, about four o'clock this morning, I started getting messages of his demise. Speaker of Parliament Alban Bagman, while announcing the demise of the MP, urged parliamentarians to take their health needs seriously. I've been informed that our colleague couldn't make it. And he has transited to the other world. Honorable members, I'm referring to no less a person than the late Philip Baswa. The MP's demise comes days after the majority in parliament managed to get the six new ministers of President Kufuado approved. Prior to the approval, proceedings were stored due to his absence from the floor of parliament. The NPP has been explaining how they got to know of his health situation moments before the voting on the ministers. We needed all our members of parliament to be present before the first vote was cast. However, we could not get Honorable Baswa uh, into the chamber. Uh, the majority leader indeed reported that to the Speaker of Parliament that we could not get Honorable Baswa into the chamber because he fell ill uh, in the early hours of the day. Philip Basua was a member of parliament for Kumawu at the age of only 54. Prior to his role as member of parliament, the late Basua acted as chief executive officer of the Setra East District between January 2005 and 2009. The NPP on whose ticket he served as member of parliament described the late MP as a long-standing member of the party. He has been a role model of many and the kind of work that he has done in his constituency and the youth that he has mentored and the, the events that uh, he has carried out within the constituency, more especially in the stronghold of the New Patriotic Party. Kumau is not a very small constituency and Honorable Basua has held that flag for us. Meanwhile, President Ekufuado has extended his sincere condolences to the widow and children of the late MP of Kumau. He has described the late Basua as a devoted adherent of the Damkwabuzia Dombo tradition, who never wavered in the belief that the NPP was the only political party that had the welfare of the country at heart. The party in Kumewu has also described him as a grassroots person. Robert Basua, um, I think he done so well for the party. He started as a party secretary. You know, then he rose to become the DCE. Then I think uh, he's a three-time MP for the constituency. So by uh, looking at that, he served the, the, as a capacity very well. Basua is a, is a grassroots guy. His colleagues in parliament have expressed shock at the news of his demise. It is very unfortunate, uh, very sad. The only thing that I will say is I will commensurate with the fund, especially the wife. I know it is not going to be easy for her, especially the wife. Uh, but uh, in all things, we have to give thanks and glory to God. It is with deepest sorrow that we receive early this morning the passing of our friend. This, in no doubt, is going to leave us devastated. We can only pray for strong souls. His demise has also generated conversation about the numbers in Parliament. The NPP seats, which hitherto were 137, including that of the Independent Member of Parliament, 
now dwindles momentarily to 136. The NPP as a party, however, says this will not in any way affect the works of the majority in parliament as they work towards getting approval for the three revenue bills expected to be laid before parliament by Friday. The new patriotic party has promised to give a befitting barrier to the member of parliament once the family comes out with a funeral arrangement. But in line with the dictates of the 1992 constitution, processes will soon commence for a by-election in Kumewu. According to Article 112, Clause 5 and 6 of the 1992 constitution, the clerk of parliament shall within seven days after a seat becomes vacant, notify the electoral commission who shall hold a by-election within 30 days after the vacancy occurred, provided the vacancy did not occur within three months to the holding of a general election. With the processes outlined above yet to kick start, the NPP says it will concentrate on mourning their loved one. As we mourn with our brother today, and we've asked the party, all the regional constituency officers to fly the flags at half marks. Uh, we still believe that the process to start of this conversation hasn't started yet. And we will wait when we get to that stage. But at this moment, we are very saddened and we are still mourning our brother. Meanwhile, the NPP in the Kumo constituency says there exist no threats against the party in Kumewu in case of a by-election. Not in our lifetime. So far as Kumo is concerned, it is and will be for MPP at any given time. So uh, our worries goes with the, the bereaved family who have lost and we have lost an MP. That's what we are concerned now. But whoever succeeds him, Definitely it's going to be an MPP guy. That one, there's no question about that. The new Patriotic Party says it is mourning its late member of parliament for Kume Wu. However, it will hold on to all conversations on a by election until processes officially begin from parliament. Reporting for City News, Hansen Ajiman.